Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk about all major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and more. I'm Chris, and today we have some leaked set photos of the upcoming and very exciting Flash movie in the DC Universe. Now, this movie is going to be a huge turning point for DC, as this is their attempt to recreate the DC Universe, abandoning a little bit the DCEU, and starting a new format where we venture into the multiverse, which will open up and connect a lot of different DC projects projects and give them the ability to transform or pivot and use anything they need to in order to continue on a bold and awesome storyline. Now it's a huge move and hopefully it pays off for DC fans and for the franchise but today we get a look at Michael Keaton's new Wayne Manor. Be sure to subscribe to the channel guys today we are announcing the giveaway winner over on the Cosmic Wonders channel during a live show starting at 4 o'clock pacific time so be sure to join us there and subscribe to the channel and subscribe to Cosmic Wonder channel, comment on some videos for your chance to win. The winner will be randomly selected, so good luck. So, like I said, we have a first look at Michael Keaton's new Wayne Manor, and the reason I say new is because they're actually using a different house this time. The first time around, they used the Niebworth house, which you can see here from an image back when Michael Keaton was Batman originally, and this time about, they are actually using the Burley house, also located in England, and this is the filming images that we have today of that. You can see the Warner Brothers truck here, which they always have at sets because it carries all the equipment, and then, of course, a good look at the house and some preparations that are going down for filming. This does look very similar to the first house Michael Keaton used, or should I say mansion, the Bruce Wayne Manor, and it is going to be a very interesting look. But I also want to talk a little bit about the role that Michael Keaton is going to be playing in this film. Now we know that this film is going to be the Flashpoint series, the idea of the multiverse coming to life and bringing back the opportunity for DC to expand into the DC universe and leave the DCEU kind of behind it since it wasn't a failed project but definitely not the amount of hype they need to continue on the franchise. They need something fresh, they need something new, and that's the point of this Flash movie. And the point of Michael Keaton is to have a point man. And I have heard rumors about this, and I have been hearing rumors from way back last DC fandom when it was announced that we would be expecting to see multiple Batmans in the Flash movie. And right now we have both Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton seemingly reported to appear in this Flash movie. So what's the purpose of bringing back Michael Keaton? Well, he's going to be the point man. And what I mean by that is he's going to be the Nick Fury of the DC Universe. He's going to be the go-to guy that's going to get the teams together, organize, train, and find the superheroes that we need in order to create the proper teams to save the day or fight against whatever bad guy or issue we're going to be seeing moving forward in this DC universe. Now that's important because that's one thing that I think DC overall has lacked, but it's also a little bit risky and dangerous because now we're playing with multiverses, multiple different locations and characters spanned across multiple different generations. So it can get very confusing and very tricky very quickly. And that is one thing that I myself am a little concerned with moving into this multiverse plan with DC. It does seem not necessarily rushed, but kind of like a second effort to revamp up the DC universe. And I just don't know exactly how to feel about it, but I am very excited to see Michael Keaton again. Ben Affleck's coming back. We're hearing Wonder Woman's going to be involved and potentially other Wonder Women from the past will also be involved. So that is awesome. That is exciting. But as it stands right now, I'm just kind of waiting to feel out and see what happens with this Flash movie and subsequently the future of the DC universe following it. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Are you excited to see Michael Keaton return? Who else would you like to see return since they are opening up the DC multiverse? That does give us a lot of options for one, different Batman, and two, different characters who have spanned across all of the DC universe throughout the entire history of it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Don't forget to join us on the Cosmic Wonder channel for a live chat as we will also be revealing the winner for the Captain America Shield giveaway. Good luck to you guys and thank you so much for watching till the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily uploads happening right here on Cosmic Culture.